Hi, today I would like to talk about engine and perform and how you can use engine to improve the performance of your programs. So let's get started. Uh, basically, I have a Visual Studio command uh, tool uh, prompt and I am in this directory registry bin debug and uh, well, this is just a small program that uh, we can start. Uh, and I'm using this program to demonstrate how to use engine to improve performance. So I have up, uh, launched this program now and we can minimize this window since we don't really need it. And uh, what you can do is first uh, go into Perfmon and uh, you can just kind of find it in performance monitor. And uh, what you want to do is I want to monitor the JIT or the CLR uh, performance for this particular uh, program so I'm going to go in there and say dot net CLR jet and I'm going to find my program it's called the registry here and I'm going to just add it and say ok and I'm going to change the view so I can see uh, the reports uh, and it's a little bit easier to see so if you see it's telling me about the this program registry that number of intermediate language bytes Cheated is this much because typically what happens is uh, on demand uh, the compiler would uh, create into native bytes uh, the intermediate languages that are generated when you compile your program so it's already done 397 at this point so if I just click on this uh, button it should be able to show me a few things so let's just see how that works so it's uh, it says that it uh, showing something but now you can see the intermediate language bytes jitted have gone up so basically what happened is when i click on this button it went through some code and it is being converted from the uh, the normal msi il the intermediate language format into the native language and you take that hit when you do this thing so that's kind of the 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 program I'm showing you. So what you can do is instead of uh, having this generated as a MSIL you can uh, use this program called engine and it's available from uh, Microsoft and you can just run it on your exe and let's see what happened here. It says engine uh, okay so to run this program all you have to do is uh, uh, just this command engine uh, install registry.exe so now engine should be installed I'm going to relaunch this program so let me just bring this window back in again to relaunch this program so uh, once I relaunch this program what you will see is the number of intermediate language bytes jitted is back to zero so there is nothing going on right now and if I click on let's say this one uh, the selected value and say add registry or click on this you can see it's all still zero so the advantage with engine is that uh, you can basically skip the intermediate language step and generate native code so I would recommend doing this for your programs and typically you would run it as part of the installer so the users will get the benefit of this right away and to uninstall you can essentially do the same thing you can say engine uninstall and I'm going to run the engine uninstall so once I uninstall you can see that if I run it back again you can see that the intermediate language bytes are jitted again and uh, you get that see it goes higher up and number of methods has gone higher up so you can use uh, this to measure how much improvement you might be able to get by using the native image generator engine that's what is called if you want to learn more about these and other things uh, I would encourage you to go to my website Gaur Associates and uh, thank you for watching this short screencast You can basically search for these and many other videos there. Thank you.